Hello and welcome to September's monthly Oracle card guidance. So in this month, we already on the 3rd of September when I am recording this. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that before. And uh, we have three decks here. We have the Soulful Woman, the Enchanted Spell Oracle and the Angels of Atlantis Oracle card. So go ahead, choose either option one, two or three and we're going to get started with the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option, which is the Soulful Woman cards, we are asking, what is our guidance for the month of September? What can we expect? And what what is the general guidance? What do we need to know as we head into September? Okay, so we have four cards here for the four weeks in September. And the first card we have is I embrace my body. And so I think that as we are now in the first week of September, the focus is really about what we can give to ourselves. What is it that I need to do for me that is going to help me um, create the sanctity that I need in myself? in this body that is my temple. I think it's also very much about taking care of yourself quite literally, uh, perhaps ensuring that you are caring for your your well-being, um, eating ba balanced meals, being able to move, uh, being able to move adequately, um, being able to give yourself rest periods and to be able to give yourself the, the the techniques that help you to rest better, perhaps, um, for an example, like massage, um, to be able to just uh, enforce looking after yourself. Because if you do so, then what you're going to find is that that's going to give way to a whole lot of positivity or an injection of positivity that's going to inform the rest of your month as well as the rest of your life of course and so the focus here very much on the first week of September is to look at yourself at is to look at your bodies your body and to look at what it is that you can do for yourself so that you feel maybe a bit more polished a bit more present in yourself and that you feel uh, a bit better about yourself generally. For some of you, it could mean overhauling your your clothes cupboard. The first card also gives me the sense that there is a need to be able to go inward and be with yourself. So perhaps there's some uh, necessary form of meditation or some kind of walking meditation or something which involves the body but integrates the body and the mind and the spirit. Um, especially the the body and the spirit. I feel like in doing so, you're going to be planting seeds which are necessary and really important for you to do so now at this point then to go um, for the rest of the year. So we have just, I haven't been doing energy forecasts re recently, but we've just come from uh, a space where we've ended a lot. Uh, an energy shift has taken place. And there has been, um, the, you know, a washing away of certain things. And if you're not able to go with the flow of that, what you might find is that you've felt a bit down or you felt a bit frustrated. But this card here in the first week of September shows me that it really is about planting the seeds 
for what is to come. And um, it is about being able to nurture oneself and give oneself the care that is necessary to be able to create the abundance that you need in your life. And so I think the first week of September is going to be very much about that. Okay, as we move into the second week of September, it's it has a focus on boundaries. And so I think your relationships come into question and uh, looking at how much of yourself are you giving to others? Is it taking away from you? Is it taking away from you and not and you're not able to refuel? Are you able to be very clear about what is acceptable for you and what is not acceptable for you? Are you able to unearth old habits which have held you uh, back because you have been giving too much of yourself perhaps or you've not been able to say no under certain circumstances so as we head into the week two of September it's very much about establishing very clear boundaries with yourself uh, as well as with others and with being able to say and, and be clear being able to be articulate as far as what is acceptable and what is not acceptable so that you can maintain the health that you have um, established here in the first week of September or the good habits or that spark or that that seed that you've planted to be able to maintain that because you can't quite you know squander your energy and your resources and your well-being and lose that because that is quite sacred and quite special for you and really important for you. Okay, as you go into September, the third week, we uh, have the card called The Soul's Journey. And the caption here reads, Living from soul opens me to the magic that exists when I surrender to divine manifestation on its own terms and timing. Okay, so I feel as we enter the week, the third week of September, for those of you who've chosen the first option, you're going to be in a very, very good space because it's almost like you are one with the uh, the universe or with whatever it is that you uh, recognize as a divine energy, as God. And I feel here that w this first week of September is so important in terms of being able to lay the foundation. And then the second week is really about being able to manage the external um, leakage of that of that energy and then the third week is really being able to come back to some of that which you've been doing in the first week but at an elevated level where you're able to be in communion with God and with yourself on a on a much higher level so you might be able to go into deeper meditations you might have a lot of clarity uh, about your your who you are what you, where you're going to, what your goals are. And you also have a certain degree of peacefulness and a surrendering to that, to what is. And in, in that you don't need, you don't have anxiety around it. You don't have a need to push something forward, but simply to accept that where your station is in this life and as a result, what will come from that station in life. So I think week three is a very important week in terms of your spiritual development as well as your spiritual well-being. Um, as we move into week four of September, the last week of September, we have the flow of partnership. And the, the caption here it reads, um, the ebb and flow of relationship takes me where I need to be on my next path. Now, I think for some of you, you will find that as you come around to the end of September, you might have found find that seeds that you've planted already in March, April or June, July would be coming to fruition in terms of relationships. And you might be embarking on a new relationship or you might just be renewing the current relationship that you have and moving on to a different uh, paradigm 
um, in that existing relationship so that you are able to relate to each other on a different level and you are able to integrate that in your life. And as you see here in September, what we have is that you have this time with yourself where you're giving yourself the self-care and then we have that mo moment where we are managing our relationships with others and then you have a deeper return to yourself and a uh, a hearkening, a hearkening to what is divine and, and what is um, what is there for you anyway. It's like you coming to this well uh, with all of the abundance of the world and you're being able to drink from it or just sit by it and, and gaze into it. And then as you come into the end of the month, you're finding that all of that which you have, which has made you to be quite solid, to make, has made you be quite comfortable and secure in yourself, has left you with um, being able to relate in a perhaps a love partnership or some other type of partnership, whether it's a business partnership or a friendship. Um, where there's a give and take, a healthy give and take, in a way that is is very you're able to relate to it in a way that's very healthy. Um, there isn't any form of neediness or giving too much or or taking too much, perhaps. But there's simple a simple balance as far as those relationships are concerned, uh, or or a relationship, a significant relationship is concerned. For some of you, it might signal the beginning of a relationship with somebody. Um, that you might be interested in as well. And so I think here that you have a very beautiful month ahead for you because it seems like you have the you have the necessary knowledge that you need to be able to do what you need to do for yourself. And you have the strength that you need to be able to maintain the health uh, not just of yourself, but of your relationships around you. And you have the ability to be able to go inward and access a, a, a world that is richer and a divine world. And you have a signaling of love at the end of the month. So I think it's going to be a wonderful month for you. And uh, do let me know how it works out in terms of love <laughs> at the end of the month. And uh, I wish you a very, very blessed September. Take good care. And I just want to mention that I, I, I know I've been really bad in the last couple of years as far as uploading videos are concerned. And to be honest, at first was because I was pretty burnt out in terms of my workload. But uh, it's, you know, I... I just needed to do a, a, quite a bit of healing for myself as well. I am on a shamanic path and so at times I need to withdraw and just be able to do some work on myself and I, I needed definitely to spend a bit more time with my family and hence I've been away. Uh, I do appreciate all of those of you who have been here and have been loyal uh, on this channel and uh, who have remained subscribed and I I do plan to come in into the in the future with more videos for you um, as soon as I am um, able to all right and I wish you all a very fabulous September and I thank you all for your loyalty and for your uh, for those of you who are subscribed all right wishing you all the best and for those of you who've chosen option number two, we have the Enchanted Spell Oracle. And we are asking, what is the guidance that we need for September 2023? What is it that we need to know at this time for September 2023? What is it that we need to be aware of? And what is it that we need to be careful of? And what is it? What is our advice?
Wow, so September looks like quite an amazing month for most people, actually. And what I see here is that it's going to be amazing for you as well, because as you come into the first week of September, we already in the first week of September, but as you go along that first week of September, it's till about the 8th or 9th of September, you're going to have the illumination that is necessary. You're going to be, if you've been searching for something, if you've been in the doldrums a little bit, or you've not been able to find your way, uh, you've just not known what you need to do, you're going to find that as you enter the first week of September, that it's going to be a lot more clearer as to what you need to do for yourself, as well as for those ones uh, in your life, the loved ones in your life. It is as if there's a blessing upon you at this time. And I said as well in the previous video, you know, I don't do the energy forecasts anymore, but if I were to be doing them, I would have uh, mentioned to you, and I think you must have all felt it, that there's been a huge shift in energy in this last month. Um, and in August with the full moons, as well as with the new moon. And we've had a kind of culmination, a very important culmination, and we have and have now entered a new phase, a new journey of our lives. And this applies to all of us. It affects us all in some ways. And here, your first card for September is talking about the illumination of that. It's talking about you coming to terms with that, being able to understand what it means and feeling the blessings of that that is strong enough for you to be able to integrate that into your life in a way that is um, going to be exactly what you need as you go along. And how as you enter week two, there's more of an emphasis on intellect. Perhaps there is a need for you to study something or there's a need for you to um, track your thoughts, to be able to track what is it in your mind or to do some caretaking of some spring cleaning of what it is in your mind what what are your thoughts what are you what are your memories what are your beliefs and just to be able to check if all of that is actually quite necessary for you to keep in your mind right now or is it something that you can let go of because it no longer serves a purpose I think also that some of you might be drawn to uh, studying something new you might be drawn to writing something you you there is going to be an emphasis on the thought, the mind, and being able to take care of that, but also being able to work through that. And I think that even journaling might come up for some of you here. But you definitely are having a strong time in, in terms of the intellect as you go into the second week of September. So if you've been struggling to write an article, or if you've been uh, having some kind of writer's block, or something like this, I would suggest that you, you give it a go in the second week of September because you are likely to be able to make some headway as far as that is concerned, where you, whereas you might have been feeling blocked previously. Now, as we enter into week three, there's a renewal on a certain level that allows you to, um, it's part of this illumination energy, but there's this kind of renewal that you experience which brings you back to yourself and to your innocence. It might be some of the housekeeping that you've been doing here in terms of your mind and what it is that you keep in your mind. Perhaps there's a lot of um, past relationship uh, difficulties or traumas or perhaps there's some childhood traumas that need to be um, packaged away and put away and just be gotten rid of because perhaps they don't serve you any longer. And as you enter into the week three of September, what you find is that there's a renewed sense of innocence. And this might have been evading you for a while. For some of you, it might be evading you. It might be something that's just beneath the surface that you've not really been able to access. And But there in the third week of September, you have the ability to be able to... Um, tap into that innocence, to be able to tap into that part of you that was, that has come before responsibility, that's come before, before you've had a care in the world. And uh, it's just a very light energy and a very beautiful energy. And it's a very a pure energy as well. So I think that you're going to really enjoy the week uh, three of September. And I would advise you to not do anything too hectic during the time, um, don't partake in alcohol or substance abuse uh, just to just maintain this energy because usually when you have some 
energy like this coming up, there's a kind of revelation that comes to you as a result of it. And as you see, as you're getting to week four in September, you're going to find that there's rebirth. So all of this illumination and this housekeeping that you're doing in your mind uh, and the, the, or the illumination with the intellect that you have, with the research that you've been doing and this innocence is bringing together an opportunity for you to have a rebirth. And you're going to be, it's almost like you're being pushed through a conveyor belt and being worked on. And as you come out on the other side, you are a new person and you are, you have a new life ahead of you and you head, head into a new phase. Um, and I think that is very resonant with the universal energies that we are experiencing at the moment. So that is my reading for you, for those of you who chose option number two for September. I just want to mention, as I mentioned to the pre those of you, uh, the others as well, that um, I know that I really appreciate all of you for being uh, subscribed and for coming to these readings. And I know I have been missing uh, but I've had to, at first I was quite burnt out and uh, and then I needed to just take some time on my own spiritual journey. And um, so I haven't been uh, forthcoming with videos, but I, I do want to say that as soon as I am ready to, I, I will bring forth more videos and I am not going to shut down this channel or I'm not going to, um, to stop. Uh, completely. It's just that I, I've needed to take a break and I do appreciate so, all of you for being there still. There have been about a hundred of you have unsubscribed, but that's uh, okay. And um, I just want to say thank you to those of you who've stayed. So thank you so much. I wish you a very beautiful and fabulous September and many blessings to you all. And for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we have the Angels of Atlantis Oracle cards. Okay, so we are asking, what is it that we need to know for the month of September? What is it that we need to know for the month of September? And as I mentioned in the other readings, um, that we have come through a phase where we have uh, finished something. There's been a culmination. And we have actually moved forth through a particular energy and we are on the other side of it. So September onward is going to be a time of redesigning, redeveloping, re, um, re renewing yourself and re-entering the world that we're in. And I think that uh, it's going to be an amazing month. But let's just see how, uh, and it's going to be an amazing time ahead for you but let's just see what September has in store for you for those of you who've chosen option number three Oops. Okay, so for some of you, I get the feeling that on for some this might apply to one or two of you. I'm not sure, but the the energy I'm getting here is that you've been running away from something, and it's time to be present again. It's time to be able to taste your freedom again, from which you can draw your inspiration, and then to be able to implement that with integrity, because this running away has left has had you drop the ball on some instances. So if that resonates, let me know. Okay, and then I'm just going to now read for everyone generally. So in the first week of September, we have Michael and the card here is I am presence. And I feel that it's very much a time for you to come into yourself and to be one with yourself, to do things such as meditation or just quiet contemplation, uh, reflection. I feel that the first week of September is going to be very important for that. For some of you, it might be a busy week on the outside, but the times that you come home, 
to yourself and be by yourself or if you are in nature by yourself and in your inner world that is the time that is going to be most rewarding for you in the first week of September because what I see here is that it is that which is needed at this point and it is that where your wealth is where your well-being is and where your your abundance comes from okay so as you enter into week two of September you are able to taste a uh, a sense of freedom that you haven't been able to for some time. In fact, I get the sense that you feel have been feeling quite shackled for some time, and it might not even it might not even be something that you're aware of until you be are able to experience this newfound freedom that you have in the second week of September. And it might come from certain routines that you've implemented, certain new habits that you started forming, or perhaps certain sport that you might be be doing but it's coming to you and you're able to taste it again and I feel that this word taste is very important it's like you are able to it's quite palpable you know you are able to feel this on a whole new level and it is something that I feel it has been missing for a while and that has been missing from your life it's like it's almost not been tangible uh, for you and you, it's almost been just out of your reach or, or hidden. And so I think this is the second week of September is going to be quite an important week for you to be able to experience this freedom again. And from that, as we go into week three, you're going to have a renewed inspiration. And for some of you, um, you know, perhaps that inspiration has been lacking as well. Perhaps there's been a place where you've not known exactly what you need to do you've not just you've just not had that inspiration that you've needed you've not been able to feel like you could do what you needed to do because you've been lacking the inspiration and i think that as you enter into week three that inspiration is going to hit you <laughs> and it's going to be there with you for a while as you go ahead it's been elusive until now uh but it's going to be a part of your life as you go as you continue from the week three of September and I think that it very much comes from you having this inner time for yourself which is quite rewarding for you in the first week of um of September because it's almost like you need to go in to your well of of wealth and blessings and to be able to draw from there and once you've done that once you've given yourself the time to be able to do that then you're going to find that you have that freedom that you need and that's going to give rise to this inspiration that's right here now i think that as you come to the end of september there's going to be a uh, there's going to be some kind of need to make matters right to be able to put things in place in the way that it needs to be to be able to act with integrity in all aspects of your life and to be able to right certain wrongs that you might perceive as wrongs in your life in the past and um it it's like you have the vigor to be able to do this right now and the strength and you have the resources to be able to do that as well so i wish you luck with that and that's going to be quite rewarding for you on a more material level than or on a physical level than it then the rest of the month the rest of the month is very much in the mind in the heart and in in terms of your you know your inspiration also in your mind uh just in terms of your 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 spirit so um as you and as you come to the last week of of uh september it's there's a requirement for you to in interact with integrity this might inter in this might be with regard to your relationships. Uh, it could be with regard to one particular relationship. But there's a need to be honest. There's a need to be real. And there's a need to be true. And to do the best for all concerned. And to be to do what is required of you. Or what you might have given your word to. Okay. So um, as you come to the end of September. I think that's what's important. If you've been. If you've promised somebody that you're going to visit them. At the end of September and you've decided not to do it I feel like you will be feeling that you need to do it because of um, because you you need to maintain your you know you need to keep your word you need to feel that integrity with yourself or it might be something to 
like that where you've made a promise that you needed to keep um, and you you ha might have some conflict with that. But regardless, you're going to be uh, endowed with the with whatever it is that you need to be able to maintain your integrity. All right. So I think that um, September is going to be quite a beautiful month for you because you are going to be working from spirit to your uh, mental and emotional well-being and you're going to be able to translate that at the end of it into the physical world and I think that it's going to be a very rewarding month for you there's going to be a lot of growth for you and uh, spiritually and uh, there's going to be a fair amount of development as well for you and I just want to say thank you to all of you who've come by I uh, wish you a fabulous September may you have a, a beautiful September and um I just want to also say that I mentioned it to the others as well that um, I do appreciate all of you who are still subscribed, even though I just upload one video a month and I do, I will be able to upload some videos as soon as I can, but I, I haven't, I'm not going to shut down the channel or I'm not going to um, abandon you all together. I've just needed to take some time up out for my own uh, spiritual exploration and so I thank you all for your your loyalty and just being there uh, during all of this time so thank you all very very much many many blessings to you all have a wonderful September and blessings abound from Kismet Rising <laughs>